successful shopping trip i think i've been trying to be a little bit more selective so i didn't get that many things and you should be very proud of me because i did not get any baskets so and on the back for me <laughs> but let me show you what i did get okay so first i've been to thrift smart like a thousand times at this point <laughs> and i feel like i always discover a new area like i never really bother to go into certain places or i almost never spend a lot of time towards the back of the store where like the wood stuff is there's also like rugs boxes and things like that so i barely spend any time there i just naturally gravitate towards like the home decor stuff in the front and the clothes and all of that so yeah i never really spent too much time back there but i decided today to like finally go back there and, and spend more time back there and i found that they have like a little pet section which again i never knew because i never bothered to go back there but yeah so i found two toys for loki so he's very excited both of them have squeakers which i will not demonstrate because he's gonna go crazy so he's locked out of the room right now so that's why <laughs> yeah so there's this little sheep it's so funny looking and this little moose so perfect yeah and they're like brand new and like perfect condition have their little squeakers in still so he's going to be very excited to play with these each one was 3.99 but i had a 50 percent coupon so half of that so i'll definitely be going to the back more often so i can look for more toys for loki because he loves these plushy toys but he like completely destroys them i don't know if anybody else's dog is like this but like how do they know that you have things in your bag for them like I bring in all of my thrift stuff and Loki never cares but the one time that I had these two plushies in there for him he like knew and he was like smelling the bag and like sticking his whole face in there how do they know? I have no idea anyways okay I also found this lampshade and it's a beautiful color it's like this beigey ivory color and I don't know it's kind of hard to see on camera but it's a suede material or like a velvety material it is so pretty i am going to be on the hunt for a new lamp that i'm thinking of putting in my husband's office so i want to work on a makeover for that probably in september so right now i'm going to be focusing on finding pieces for that room but yeah i just thought that this would be so cute because i love adding textures to a room and i've never seen a lampshade with like suede on it so i thought that was really cool and i think it would look really pretty with a nice thick base <laughs> so now i just have to find a lamp base that will go with this and the lampshade was 5.99 and i think i've talked about it before lampshades are so expensive so the fact that this was 5.99 and my 50 percent coupon great deal then in the candle aisle i found this tiny little faux candle and it actually still works and has a battery <laughs> so you can't really tell that much in this lighting but it works and it's on and this was only 99 cents but half off so like 50 cents but yeah this is really great to have i love how candles look but i was raised to like hate them my dad is like super anti-candles so i have like that like hidden fear <laughs> instilled in me from a young age so even though i love them and i do have like one or two candles that i light every so often i'm always like watching them like a hawk and like super scared that something will go wrong with them so i try to have electric candles so i can get the feel and the mood 
without the hazard or you know the anxiety behind the candles so i thought this would be perfect to use i also found this really cool box it is so pretty and it's like a really i think it's like a bronze or brass kind of color in the lighting it looks much more gold but in person it looks a little bit darker it's so pretty and it opens up like this and there's a bit of like a velvet on the inside it's really dusty right now so i would have to clean it up but yeah i don't know if this was maybe like a jewelry box or something like that in the past but i just really liked it and the tiny little stubby legs is really cute too so i haven't decided yet if i want to use it as a jewelry box in my closet or if i want to use it like displayed somewhere because it's just such a pretty box so i will think about it and see where i place it but i had to get it and it was 5.99 and then of course i always check out the books you know that i love to check for art books so that i can use them as prints this one is an art book it's the art of andrew wyeth i think that's how you say his name but i didn't get it for the art print it's just kind of i guess like a biography type book history of like some of his paintings but i got it because i thought it would be a very nice like coffee table book or for decor <laughs> without the dust cover is just this really pretty linen so how nice would that look on a coffee table or on a shelf styled somewhere it does have the red lettering there as well but yeah it's just a beautiful linen book so of course i had to get it and this big book was only 2.99 so a really good price for a big like coffee table book coffee table books are so expensive so as pretty as they are and as much as i want them I'm not gonna pay like 30 plus dollars for a book so finding this one was absolutely great okay and another c word find i know i've been finding a couple of things here and there i always prefer to shop for the holidays like way in advance that way you're not like stressed out at the last second so i always kind of hunt through the different holiday sections all throughout the year to slowly find things without having to like stress at the last second to find things to decorate my apartment with so another c word find this plate it's so cute and i am a really big fan of more subtle christmas and holiday decor this one has these really cute snowflake and christmas trees on the edge of it it's almost like a blue tone so i think i might even give it to my mom my mom loves blue and she decorates everything blue for the holidays so it's a little bit more rare to find blue christmas items i feel like and especially at the thrift store since everything is like green and red so i might actually give this to her because it is such a cute plate but if she doesn't want it then i'm definitely keeping it for myself <laughs> and how cute would this be with some christmas cookies on it <laughs> is anyone else excited for the holidays or is it still too soon <laughs> and then the last thing i got was a pillow this is such a cute pillow and it's giving me very like fall vibes so i haven't decided yet if i want to put this in our living room or on the couch that's in our office slash guest bedroom so either way it'll go great but yeah it's such a cute i think i don't know if you're supposed to put it like this or like this but it's such a cute pillow it definitely looks a little bit of a darker burnt red in person it looks a little bit more washed out and pale on the camera but it's such a pretty pillow and it definitely gives very like sophisticated fall vibes which i really love and the pillow was 9.99 so about five bucks with the 50 percent off coupon which again great deal because pillows are so expensive <laughs> so those were all my finds definitely some really great little pieces let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and i'm really excited to keep thrifting some more especially now that the holidays are coming up and the fall is coming up i can't wait to find more pieces to decorate the apartment with so definitely look forward to more thrifting videos in the future don't forget to subscribe and follow me on instagram and i will see you all very soon in another video bye it's for you <laughs>